Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We're going to be taking a look at Soma, who is now back from the military. He's been back for a little while, but he's been a little bit rusty. And so we haven't been casting too many games from him as of late, but he is a serious contender, and we want to keep an eye on him whenever we can. He's going to be opening with, what is this, uh, Overpool in the first game today versus Noel. We got a little series here between these two. Noel is a Mystery Terran player, similar to the Mystery Terran we made a video about yesterday. I'll put a link up here. It was HBQ. HBQ, pretty strong player. Pretty cool uh, Terran player. But uh, both these two guys, Noel and HBQ, not super well known. Kind of amateur players, which is always fun to see. But Noel, the one thing we do know about him, even though he doesn't have a uh, Liquipedia account or a Liquipedia page just yet, on Seawall.gg, his highest account rank is 2583. Now, the account he's playing on right now is uh, 2513. Very strong. You can see multiple uh, S rank accounts or S rank uh, profiles on his account. Pretty darn scary Terran player at this level around the 2500 range it's it's pretty much pro level maybe he can't compete on the main stage uh, in person it's a little bit different with zero latency or with very low latency and all the pressure of the crowd uh, it's a completely different animal but he's still going to be able to put uh, some really good games up versus strong pro players uh, at this level of play. So looking forward to seeing what he's got for us. Always nice to see new uh, players entering the scene. Amateurs on the come up. It wasn't too long ago that Soma was one of those guys. You know, kind of unknown to the scene. Uh, before he showed up really, really strongly with his two Hachimuta play. And made everybody second guess. Uh, how it is, how it's possible to actually defend that build and to come up with some new ideas uh, for a while, at least until Soma uh, kind of got figured out. His two attributes kind of got figured out, and now Soma has become much more of a well rounded player. He doesn't rely on that style nearly as much. He's still very aggressive, but he's not one trick a one trick pony anymore. Now, look at this three Marines heading across the map. That's kind of interesting. More links are popping out. And these three will loop back around to join with the others. As speed finishes, more drones on the way. He could have actually come in here, maybe done a little damage. Uh, had he sent those naked marines across the map. But he's going to go with the safe play. And with his SCV running into the natural, he gets a full scout. He knows what's coming. We'll be able to optimize his build here back at home. Make sure he's got the uh, turrets on the way at the right time. Oh, poking in with the lings now. Just checking out what's going on here. Second Rax comes down. This is kind of an interesting timing to add the second Rax now. I'm not sure. I've seen this build recently, but I don't think it's like... I don't know if this is optimal. Is this kind of a new style? Usually what you'll do is you'll add the second Rax a little bit earlier. And then you'll get the Academy slightly later. After the racks, so you get the racks, second racks, then you get the gas and the academy, and then you can start your your stim timing. But here, we're five minutes in. He does. He just now finishes second racks. He's gonna start a third racks immediately, and his engineering bay just finished. We got five meters on the way. We saw a scan just go out. So when is he gonna start these turrets? Five meters are about to pop, and we don't have a single turret out just yet. This is a very fast meterless play. Because of the build order here from Soma, you know, he went for that early pool build. Oh, nice around there with the Marines. Muta's coming out. We're battling with the Marine Medic Army here. It's a pretty strong Marine Medic Army to try and contend with, but Soma's Muta control is no joke. Like I said, he basically forced the meta to shift in a lot of ways for Terran. Oh my god. All right, I take back everything I just said. 
That mutilus control. Forcing me to eat my words there. Selma, what are you doing? Two fire bats headed up to the top left hand corner. They're going to be annoying. Bashing on that hatchery for a little while. Maybe going to force it to cancel or something. Sending in the lings now. A little haphazard with the lings. Not quite at the level of soul key right now, I don't think. You can see the, the difference in the engagement between what Soul Key would usually do and what Soma is capable of in this game. Just kind of fishing or letting the the lings kind of trickle in rather than all, running them all in right on top of the Marines as the Mutalists are firing. What's the difference between these two players, I would say? Matri in the top left is being annoyed right now. So that Firebat will get taken down though and now some drones can start to pop out of that top left. We'll get that third gas online here pretty soon. Beetle stack is pretty small right now. We've got three barracks. Quite a few turrets back at home have been added on. Interesting to place the, f the, the factory here. That is a cool little spot. Putting it nearer to the turrets so it's a little bit harder to snipe. Kind of like it. Not a bad choice there. A lot of players will build it here. But then if the mutas fly in here and start harassing, you just can't really get the factory to finish. It's pretty tough to get it to finish. Firebat finally makes its way up to the top left-hand corner. How many drone kills can it get? Not even one just yet. Things are going to come and try to clear that up as the mutas continue to harass here into the natural. Lurker upgrade is coming we'll be done here pretty soon but there might be a little timing for noel to get out on this map and perhaps put some damage onto the or put some uh, pressure onto the top left maybe into the natural he's just finishing up his armory and double uh starport so will this be for valkyries he's gonna make two valkyries right away or is he going to add on a science facility it really looks like valkyries seems like he's going to make a bunch of valkyries right now and i don't know how well that's going to go because there is that transition like we were talking about hydras are popping out he's going to make lurkers in just a couple of seconds and as those lurkers start to get added on this is really great play by S soma by the way he's killed all the energy on all these medics by just coming back and forth in and out forcing the stim over and over again these these guys can't be healed there's one medic in here with any energy at all so this is kind of brutal for noel he's stimmed too many times and now he can't really move out uh by any means we should have more lurkers coming up over here at the third the two in the natural are going to be sent out on the map actually Pretty interesting stuff. Send those out right now. Two Valkyries are done. This is the type of play that can win you the game, but it's also the type of play that could actually lose you the game. There's the Lurkers here in the middle. They're not going to be standing next to the uh, Sunken Colony. Okay, they will be sent back to the Sunken Colony. That's really important. These two Overlords are just fresh meat here in the middle of the map. A drone there as well. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Mutas are up in the top right-hand corner. We've got some lurkers here in the natural, but it's a little sloppy, honestly, from Soma. Not playing at his absolute best right now. He needs to get his units into position. Get these lurkers burrowed underground. There we go. Let's get the lurkers underground now. All the mutas end up getting picked off by these Valkyries and Marines as they push into the top left. Valkyrie's going to do a good job of shoving all this back. And here it is. The double dropship play. Let's see how that goes. Two more Valkyries hit the field. He's probably going to bait with Valkyries. A bunch of these Scourge. And then try to go in with a big drop. Maybe into the main base. Uh, I think that would be a fantastic move. We've just got the Defiler Mound started. So quite a long time before that really comes online. There's only a few Lings. A few Scourge in the main to maybe be able to defend that as well. Here's those drop ships on their way out. Gonna load those up. 
I don't want to reveal that to the overlord. I think that was just out of range. He scans top left. Wondering if that's a good uh, ideal location to push into. Clearing a lot of these overlords. Opening up some space to maybe send in those uh, dropships here in a moment. Ooh, almost loses a Valkyrie to the Scourge. Where are those dropships? They're in the middle of the map. Have they been loaded up? No, they have not. I think the main base is a juicy target right now. Could absolutely go for it. Sending some Marines over to the top right to just check. Oh, he's actually going to build a CC up there. Interesting. Okay, loading up now. What have we got in here? A few medics. Wow, a lot of medics in this one dropship. This one's all Marines. It's kind of funny. Two Scourge are heading up right now. Looks like he just wants to deny top left. I mean, that's a pretty decent choice. Just get in here. Put some stuff on high ground. Deny this base. Uh, the double. Oh, he's actually uh, stopped positioned on this. That's a pretty good move by Soma. Very nice lurker landmine there. Actually clearing out a lot. And he will finish off the entire group of bio. That is incredible for... So he's going to kill all these medics. This is like all the medics on the map right now. That is so many kills. And the uh, dropships didn't get sent back home. We're seeing some real holes in this Terran's play. Like HBQ we watched yesterday. He seemed very solid. But you can see why these guys are considered amateur players. Like this is unacceptable. We can't be leaving these back uh, right there. We definitely have to send those home immediately after they unload. He is expanding, growing behind this, and he's starting to get into mines. He's also transitioning into mech, it seems. Yeah, it looks like he's going to float everything out. I like the mech transition with multiple bases being taken all over the map. Looks pretty good, but Soma's actually spotted this already. He sees SCVs transferring over to the top uh, left-hand corner, or right-hand corner, excuse me. And so he should know. He should know for a fact that this is going to be that mech transition. We are just going to go right into Ultralisks. And hopefully we will see some Queens this game as well. Because I hate to see players just go straight up Ultralisk into uh, mech. It just feels so bad. It feels so, so bad. And it tends to result in Zerg loss. But sometimes they can pull it off if they have enough of a lead. I just feel like it's such a unnecessary play to go for if you just build some some queens and try to combo them with the ultras it makes it so much better of course there's always the chance that we'll see emp as well to kind of counter that play but that takes a lot of effort from the terran player as well uh, it becomes a really skill based uh trading a difficult trading situation so picked off the drone that was coming to to grab this base over here the fifth base which is nice now you can see he's gonna get this base right that base is gonna come up he might even get this base as well it was a good try a good attempt there to slow things down with the vultures but soma is gonna continue to grow He's got pretty decent upgrades to see what kind of armor. One armor's done. Two armor's about to finish. How are we doing with the tanks? Plus one attack is done. Marines over here just hanging out. I think he's going to try and split this map, guys. Let's take a look at the map overall. I think if you put lots of mines along here... You could potentially split the map. Have like a whole bunch of tanks right there. And a whole bunch of tanks right here. And fill this area with mines. I don't think that the Zerg player is going to be able to move through. Without engaging one of those big mech balls. So I like the idea right now from Noel. Let's see how it works in practice. That is a lot of income with so many bases online. He's going to have such a mass supply of tanks coming out so many tanks are going to be hitting the field we are getting a drop and ultraless speed is on the way as well 
pretty decent number of drones here with 57 on the field. Now going up to, you know, 60, almost 70 drones for Soma. Starting to pop out Ultras. The first engagement with the first set of Ultras is probably going to be the most important here. Whether that runs into mines or whether it connects with a bunch of tanks and starts to reduce that tank count. That'll be the really big decider. That first engagement always so, so important with the Ultralist Force. Whether you're against Mech or whether you're against Bio. Tanks are not very well set up right now. He's actually sending most of the tanks up here to the top right. Expecting that the attack will probably come through in that direction. Ooh, a lot of these Marines just got picked off over here. But that is um, not such a big deal for Noel right now. He's not too worried about losing Marines because he will just replace those with a Tank Goliath, which is a much more robust combo. Now, I don't see any Queens in the production tab just yet. We've got maybe some overlords flying, maybe a drop coming in, but that's so many turrets. He actually just needs a building flying here to make this a perfect defense. They can see anything as it's coming, start to gun it down. Even getting into some Valkyries right now wouldn't be too bad of an idea. He is adding on science vessels and moving across the map, being aggressive right now is a little bit surprising. Like I said, that first Ultralisk attack is so important. Uh, if you're caught, like, moving across the map, like, if you're in a full defensive position and Ultra is attacking to you, you have the best chance of making that first fight work for you. But here, he's going to be very spread out. He's pushing over here towards the center left. He's getting almost in range of these defilers. You really can't push through this part of the map. And Ultras are actually going to come across, start to pick off tanks over here back at home. Now, they probably won't be able to break through this little bit of tank army. Two D-Matrix come down. That's going to handle most of that. No problem. Vultures over here just being annoying. A lot of tanks getting sent back home. As uh, Ultra goes to work on these uh, Marines and Medics. This is a pretty decently stable game state for our Terran player though right now. We need to add some chaos in here if we want to have any chance of taking down this game as Soma. Otherwise, he may just get stifled out, especially once the army makes its way over here to this choke. If the Terran player can hold this choke and start to push in on the hatcheries, it becomes very hard. We've got a lot of science vessels here. Quite a bit of a radiate ready to defend, to help us defend. There's no lurkers under this dark storm, I feel. Yeah, there's none. There's one over here, but he can absolutely irradiate his way through that army coming out to try and poke through a hole in the defense from noel but his army is just massive so many tanks up here and plus two must be done yeah plus two is done plus three is just started he's slowly closing the noose here slowly but surely tightening down on the larynx of soma he's got a ton of bases going. He will be losing some SCVs over here at the center right. Not the biggest deal, though. Can just start to... Oh, this is a big deal. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. The addition of some chaos into this game will be really key for someone to start taking wins here. But the one single Valkyrie might actually force this to turn around. Oh, there's some Scourge coming in. They will connect. Kill that. So he gets rid of that. Ultra, I don't know how many kills that Ultralist got, but it looked like a lot. We are still sitting on 61 SCVs, though, as the tanks start to push in over on this left-hand side. Soma is running out of options. Does he have drop? I don't see it. Plus, there's already a lot of uh, Goliaths in this army. He even kills one of the Overlords before the Ultra can pop out, so he lost an Ultra in an Overlord there. That is a pretty... Bad trade for a Zerg player. A lot of these drones are going down. Ultra's kind of running in and dying. And the trades have just gone a little bit too poorly here for Soma. I think he's going to come out of the... Or he's going to get knocked out of this game, I feel. We've got some drops potentially coming over here. No, just overlords. They're going to be sent in sacrificially. 
Lynx might be able to get up on this ramp, but that's so many tanks. Oh my, oh my goodness. Even worse that he actually turned around there. I would rather him just run in, at least get on top of the tanks. These ultras are just gonna get worked. This is the problem when you don't add on queens as well, or you have that extra bit of utility to your army to actually break through these positions. He just doesn't have it. And he's not going to be able to break this. Like, if you come in with five queens and you brutaling all these, then you run in with the ultras, you can break that base pretty easily. And maybe even take it out. You can get in here and maybe kill all of these factories, but he's just not going to be able to do it. He's coming in from the flank. Here we go. A lot of ultras on top of these tanks. Ling's jumping on top of a lot of them as well, but the back line is still pretty long here for... Noel, mm, I think he got it actually. I think he wipes this out. The problem is, did Soma lose too much in these fights? Does he have what it takes to actually get another base going? Or will Noel just come across and reinforce his position? He's got so many tanks moving forward. And I just don't see Soma being able to field an army capable of taking a fight against this force in time like there's just no way that is so many tanks a mass transition into mutas maybe he just doesn't have the money for that either so he's gonna build five more ultras 10 more sets of lings so 20 more lings two more def defilers is that gonna be enough lings coming in from behind this army a couple ultras mixed in as well they are gonna get on top of some of this but he's gonna kill like three tanks two tanks for two ultras and like 24 lings it's just not a worthwhile trade in any sense of the word the overlord's just not doing things like dropping lings or anything like that noel is going to take this game the first game of the series is won by an amateur over soma that's kind of crazy but you know anything can happen in a best of one let's see if he can do a two four take out another game here take down soma for a second time let's jump into that second game okay game number two here soma spawning in the top right hand corner we've got noel in the bottom left it's gonna be starting off with the little wall in and kind of a lackluster performance from soma in that last game i don't know it's so hard to deal with mech guys it really is tough i don't know why the mech transition went away in uh, professional play but as you can see it is a very strong way to play. Taking all of that map control, you know, throwing in some drop play as well, just to slow down the Zerg player, put them a little bit off kilter, and then switch fully into mech while defending with Marine Medic that you've got on the field. Not really challenging the Zerg player, like not trying to break into them at all, but just standing outside and being annoying, keeping the threat alive in front of the base, and then, you know, laying mines everywhere and building into a massive tank count with five bases it's it's a scary way to play it's a scary thing to go up against and once again we're gonna have a pull first here from selma um i hope he's gonna try and play this one out a little bit different he's built uh four slings two sets i guess he's like a little afraid of eight racks or something i don't know why he's going for this that seems a little bit funky to me. I really don't quite understand it. This puts you kind of far behind a Terran player who's going for one Renex FE with a wall. They're going to be feeling amazing. And there's really, there, there's almost nothing you can do to hurt them. The drone count is going to be much lower. And he has to do, he doesn't have to do anything. He doesn't even have to pull an SCV. As you can see, just two Marines in the wall. A third one pops out. Easily enough to hold four links. Easily. You can't get in there. And so this is just a feels bad for Soma, man. He's not going to be feeling good about this, but... He, of course, opted for this strategy. He must have a plan for how to get out of it. How to maneuver his way into a good position after it doesn't really work out for him after you know he sees that the 
opponent has gone for this wall in. He must have some plan. Now, I don't see anything building on this barracks. Let's take a look in the main. Engineering bay first. So, plus one. Quick plus one. Coming here for our turn player. It's a interesting way to play. We know that there's going to be very fast mutas this game. Because of how fast the, the pool is. This is going to come out a lot quicker. So rather than try to get the pressure on with uh, two racks just running across the map before the Mutalisk can come out, he knows that that's probably not going to be possible. So instead, doubling down on his economic lead by just getting a really fast upgrade. Try to get some tech behind it. Now, as long as he doesn't take a lot of damage. Oh, this is a 2.5 patch. Can you even do this? I didn't even know you could do this. Is it possible to go pool first, build four lings, and then go for 2.5 hatch after? That seems uh, that seems a little bit wild to me. I really did not think that this was a thing. You can see the spire is going to finish way before this third hatch does. I thought you would want to put this at a third base. But it seems like Soma has other plans. What is he going to do with this? Maybe he's messing around with some new ideas. I mean, generally, when you go for such an early pool, when you go pool first, you can't afford this. I wonder what he's cut or how he's actually managed his economy differently to make this uh, possible. You can see we've got a couple of medics. Marine number is looking good. Just going straight up to four racks. So four racks plus one, it just gives you so much power on the map. It makes your Marine Medic incredibly strong. It is so difficult to deal with. Flyer Carapace on the way. Now, if this base was at a third, I would have called this as a uh, Guardian build. I would have just straight up told you guys this is going to be guardians because that's exactly what this looks like but with the hatch in main i'm honestly a little confused we've got a base over here in the top left now that's going to be just thrown down will he throw out a queen's nest anytime soon and be on the lookout for that with the flyer carapace you want to throw down the queen's nest like about halfway through your flyer carapace and that's about halfway done you start your queen's nest and then you can start your hive as soon as the queen, queen's nest is done. And then as soon as the hive's done, your carapace should be finished. And you can start your greater spire. That's kind of the way that the timings work out. But I'm a little confused. I don't think that's what this is. He's going plus one armor. Uh, for other some other purpose. Maybe just for fighting the bio. Fighting the bio out on the map. Scans are coming down. He doesn't know where the base is. There's the two Marines moving over here to the center right or towards the natural. That's going to be spotted. Lings are going to be sent back to deal with that. They should be able to catch it in time. Two drones being sent um, over to this base. Oh, he gets two drones. Wow. That is crazy. And it looks like a Mutalist went down as well. Two drone kills for just those two Marines? That is a very good move from Noel. You rarely ever see something like that, but uh, usually when you see Marines split off like that, it'll be to a third base. Like, he would have sent it up here. Try to get a couple of drone kills over there, but you almost never see it sent into the natural. Just stim like that and make a run for it. Try to kill a couple of drones. That's usually not how this matchup works, but there it is. Manages to get in there, get a little damage. Lings are spotting these marines out on the field. We've got 11 mutas now. That plus one armor just about to be finished. But we've got plus one attack. And plus one armor is on the way for these marines. Lurker aspect just starts. And the queen's nest goes down. It looks like a normal play out of Soma from this kind of awkward early game. He's not going to be going for a guardian switch up. I don't think. Now... There is still that possibility if it was like a tank push, you could still go Guardians. We've seen that a few times more recently. But that's not what it's looking like for me right now. 
We've got 11 mutas here. Ready to fight this little bio force. Bunch of links over on this side. I think he's going to try and wipe this out. It's almost a perfect opportunity. As soon as these forces spread out in a long line, that'll be the moment. Oh, God, these links are moving around in kind of an awkward direction. Once these are a little bit more spread out, he should be able to pick that off. Or he could catch the reinforcement train. That would be good as well. All right, the Marines are spreading out right now. Let's see if he decides to take this fight. He's going to jump on top of the reinforcements. Killing all of these Marines pretty quickly. Will he turn and try to fight the Marines coming down right now? No. Instead, running down, picking off a few more reinforcements here. These two Marines definitely going to go down. Lurkers are being made. But he doesn't have any open supply to make Lurkers over here. Waiting on some more Overlords. There we go. Overlords popped. Scans the natural. He sees Lurkers making. Lurkers are not quite done. He's going to stim forward. Oh, this is a scary moment for Soma. He was actually heading over towards the natural to maybe put some counter pressure on, thinking that the Lurkers would definitely finish in time, but they're going to finish just seconds too late. Oh, can he get some big volleys? He does get some good volleys there, but you can see his drone count has just been massacred. 20 drones remain. This is brutal. Looks like most of the Mutas are actually going to die as well. This is a terrible engagement for Soma. He lost so much here. And behind this, just masses of Marines are popping out of all these barracks. You can see he's gone up to five racks now. Two engineering bays. He's in full SKT, SK Terran mode. Noel is looking unstoppable right now. That was a great play from him. Just hit the stim button. But really more of a mistake from Soma. Just not having... Uh, bought enough time for the lurkers there. These are the types of things that really show when you are a bit rusty, right? You just can't quite remember all of the timings. You don't really have that that star sense, that feeling for when things are going to finish like you usually would. It seemed like he was confident that the Marines wouldn't make it to his natural in time to break him so he was heading all of his lings and marines over here for some sort of counter or uh, to pick off reinforcements and the lurkers just were not there they're just not done in time this time they're going to be there he will have a few lurkers in time but he doesn't have a nidus network yet defiler's mound is on the way but he's been madly re-droning no nidus if we come up to the top left hand corner Irradiate, irradiate these two units. Okay, he was only able to get one. You need to build the lurker on the ramp here. It's so critical. I've I've actually made this mistake before. Marines come up, and if the lurker's not on the ramp, you can just run by one lurker, no problem, and kill all of this. So Noel's not going to do that. But that is something that a lot of even uh, B rank players will do to you on the ladder if you're just not quite having enough lurkers in a stack. And you don't have that Nidus up in time, they will uh, pull that move on you. Very painful way to lose, honestly. When he could have just made the one lurker on the ramp and would have saved the day, would have bought in enough time. Frustrating losses of the past. Now Marine Medic making its way over towards this this natural. We've got the floating factory signaling that we are gonna stay with. Um, Marine Medic SK Terran style for the foreseeable future. We're just flying in, trying to find what damage they can as Noel starts to expand rapidly out on the map. Adding on more bases here. Some irradiates do go down, clearing out these mutas. We should be able to see another SCV be brought forward to begin that command center once again. And he is just going to macro up like a madman. Huge amount of bases coming up. He's going to send Marines down here. He might send an SCV in that area as well. Rotating with these Marine Medic. He's going to see Soma coming down this ramp. Looking for that fourth base. This is an opportunity for Noel. If he comes forward and gets some good irradiates down. He might be able to break this. And prevent the fourth base from coming up for a little bit of time which could be hugely impactful. Now, he will lose a vessel. That's a little bit rough. He's not going to have, you know, 
three, four radiates to just get rid of all the lurkers. There's one more lurker there. Oh, I think you misplaced that. Really? Put it one hex to the left or something. He's just going to go for it. They kill that. Oh my God. The lurker went down just in time. Firebats in the mix. Oh, got to target that. Okay. Did not target the vessel or did not target the scourge there. Another vessel is going to go down. This is showing a little bit the difference in skill between Soma and Noel here. You just saw how easily he was able to hold on to this base and able to pick off multiple vessels during that fight. Whereas Noel just not able to keep those alive, not able to break the base. Kind of a rough trade for him. Kind of a rough trade for him. His position's still not bad. I think he's still got lots of bases coming up. And he could still potentially deny this. Oh, I think we had a plague. Okay, just on a couple of units here. Looks like Marines got picked off over at the natural. Now you've got to send more Marines over to that location to make sure that a defiler doesn't wander out on the map and make trouble for you uh, over at your natural. More radiates going to come down. He's got a lot of irradiates to work with. Scourge going to come in from this side. Need to keep those... Vessel's alive. Very important that he does so. Marines and medics could break this position now. There's only one lurker and it's about to die. There it is. Lurker goes down. Is he going to try and break through here? Drone falls. Has a little containment force over there. The supply is growing quite a bit for Noel. He's starting to look pretty scary. Does he have a third uh, starport? Not quite yet. We don't have the third starport here just yet. Not that I can see. But he's on uh, three gases, so he can definitely afford that. Gonna have metasynaptic node here pretty soon. Of course, we already have that plague. There you go, targeting down the uh, scourge. Pretty good play. By Noel, he's keeping his army grouped up pretty size, uh, pretty heavily though. Oh boy, only a couple of lurkers left in this stack. There's another plague going down. You have to be very careful about a grouping like this. Those plagues can absolutely get you. Not paying attention to that right now. Actually, doesn't have many resources. Not many marines over at this location. Okay, he is bringing up more and a lot of firebats as well. He's gonna try and break this, I think. A few more radiates go down. Oh, he loses another one. A few more radiates go down. Firebats are going to be brought forward. Can he actually break this position? Some emergency sunken colonies are being dropped by Soma. Trying to keep this base alive. Really important that he doesn't allow this bust to happen. But Noel starts to back off. Backing up now. Another irradiate on some Scourge. Good pull out there. By Soma, not losing all of those Scourge at least. Bunkers being set up. Everything looking quiet on the Western Front right now. It's Christmas 1914. They're both singing carols. And now back to the action. Lings are going to come out. And the bust over here. Bust attempt over here at the natural. Where is the defiler? What? Where are the defilers? Just one lurker? Really? He left one lurker on that high ground. There's a dark swarm. He's going to go after the evo chambers right now. He's actually going to kill both of these. That is insane. Wait, he... Okay, I thought he wasn't going to get that. And the cancel already happened. All this will get cleaned up. A bunch of vessels coming over here, though. Could irradiate everything. Start irradiating all, all the defilers and ultras over at this position. He's just going to break through now. And I feel like this is a huge oversight by Soma not having enough over at this base. He's got a lot of lurkers over here. He's got triple spore colony at this base, by the way. Kind of hilarious. Why do we have triple spore colony there? I really couldn't tell you. But he is about to die. Yeah, he's broken through. Not the greatest control on the vessels, but he has so many of them. He can just throw down irradiates all day long. And since you're no longer on four gas here as the Zerg player, you're not going to be able to keep up with that. You're not going to be able to compete with the amount of 
uh, Aradia. It's you can't keep making units fast enough to deal with this. And now battle cruisers are going to be coming out. I'm pretty impressed with Noel. Despite seeing some obvious like small flaws in his game, I think he's played this one out very, very well. Look at how many barracks there are. Oh my goodness. So many barracks. Of course, he's done 3-3 and he's got battle cruisers coming out. The guy's macro is pretty next level. And I know that some of you guys will wonder like, oh, why? You know, he wasn't even trying or say something like, oh yeah, Sol Soma wasn't even trying in this game. It's not that big of a deal. But guys, anytime you see an amateur beat uh, like a real ASL contender, it is a big deal. This is this is not easy. Despite, even if the player is not at 100%, you know, even if the Soma is not playing here at his absolute A game, this is a huge boost to the overall confidence level of a player like Noel. It is massive for him to take a game off of someone at the quality of Soma, and it looks like he's about to make that happen. Some ultras are coming across the map. He's adding on more star ports now with a fifth base uh, coming online here pretty soon. That'll definitely be worth it. Still holding the low ground and actually pushing into the main base of Soma. He's just about out of gas. One ultra coming in here is just not going to be enough. The battle cruisers will eventually clear that incredibly cost efficiently. And yeah, there's just nothing that Soma can do at this point. He is completely out of this game. He's going to add on another Nidus. Try to take back his base. If he managed to come back from here, it would be absolute god mode from Soma because there is just so much of everything from Noel. He's got a completely maxed out army versus 77 supply. That would be frankly insane so gg is called soma taps out and noel takes two games off of the legend soma himself not able to stop this amateur player i'll be on the lookout for more noel games guys it's always great to see like i said more fresh faces in the brood war scene more amateurs coming up and making a name for themselves if he can put up games like this uh, in the ASL qualifiers, I don't see any reason why he couldn't slip by in a weaker group. We might see him in that next season, guys. Would be really fun to have more new faces, but that's it for me from for today. Hope you enjoyed this Brood Warcast, and I'll see you in the next one.